every time she takes the court, you know, it's just, it's just a feel good story. She has a name you won't forget. My dad and my mom finally came to the name because there was a, a Greek goddess named Isis, and it was spelled I-S-I-S, but um, they wanted to be different. And she has the game to match it. But it's the story of River Ridge senior Isis Uteg that you'll remember most. She sets the bar high and kind of sets the standard of how we expect these Lady Knights to act on and off the court. You're definitely going to see high intensity. Um, I love I love to like hype up my team. I'm, I like to communicate. Defense is definitely my favorite thing. Isis exploded on the high school basketball scene as a high scoring sophomore two years ago, leading the Lady Knights in scoring and into the state playoffs. That season got the attention of college coaches all over the country, and expectations were running high for one of Coach Joe and Deersman's star players. I knew she was about to go out on the uh, circuit her junior year, and for a basketball player, that's like the hottest year to, to get noticed. Unfortunately, sports and life don't always follow the same script. Three quarters into the first preseason game of her junior year, life on and off the court for ISIS was about to change forever. As soon as she went down and screamed, your heart broke. I knew there was something serious because usually when I take a fall or something, I get right back up, but this wasn't one of those times. I ran out there and I mean, she just kept yelling and I knew it was not going to be good. Isis suffered a complete ACL tear of her right knee. Her junior season gone, taking with it the chances of chasing her dream. I felt like I lost a lot because junior year to me was really big because of as far as like not only high school basketball season but travel season, it's the last year I could play. So I kind of felt like, wow, I might have missed my chance to be able to move on to another level. That was hard to swallow um, for all of us knowing that she was going to miss some opportunities. But I always knew that this kid's going to play somewhere. Isis underwent successful knee surgery and always stayed close to her coach and her team, even acting as an assistant coach. The healing process was hard. Then, at one of her lowest moments, came the unexpected. Hey Ice Cube, what's up? I just want to say Whoa. best wishes. Um, you know, a minor setback is a major comeback. You're going to be better than ever. Get well soon. A message from WNBA superstar, two-time MVP, and Olympic gold medalist, Candace Parker. She was just shocked, you know, that, like, holy cow, like, one of the best basketball players of all time said my name. It was exactly what Ice needed to hear. She'd attack her rehab and training with the same passion she brought to the basketball court. Last week, after more than a year away from the game and playing with a brace on her knee, she played basketball for the first time. Coming back for the first game was something really big to me, and I wanted to just prove to myself that I could do it even after an injury. I've never seen her so excited. Just, you know, she got an and one, and to see the passion and the way she screamed after it just got really pumped up. I get the chills thinking about it now. But, I mean, it was just awesome. The senior guard poured in 49 points, and she's averaged 35 points a game since. In less than two full seasons of varsity basketball, she'll go over 1,000 career points in the next game she plays. To me, it's pretty unheard of to be out for a year and come back and within your first five games, however many games it's going to be, to break a thousand points. I didn't want to be so focused on how many points I scored or anything like that. I wanted to be focused on making sure my ball handling skills are better, learning how to read better. The little things to me mattered the most this year since I didn't get to like fix those things last season. It was a blessing in disguise in some aspects that she was able to sit out and watch things from a coach's point of view. And she kind of was like, oh. Oh, I see what you mean there and, and kind of picked up on some things. Isis Uteg is back and so are all of her dreams. I'm taking all the good and bad that came with it to improve myself for this season. But all the stuff that I used to think about like, oh, I might not be able to play this game because of this injury. I'm not letting it stop me.